Hello, and welcome to Learning CUDA 10 Programming. My name is Nathan Weston. I've been programming with CUDA since shortly after it was released, and it's a really powerful tool for programming GPUs, so I'm excited to share this course with you. I'm a software engineer with about 15 years of experience in the industry. I spent a lot of my career working on visual effects software, where I used CUDA for image processing and graphics code. These days I work as a consultant for local clients in the Boston area and also remotely. You can contact me through my website, nathanweston.com. In this course, we'll learn how to write CUDA programs and get the best performance from GPU hardware. In the first section, we'll get everything set up and write a simple CUDA program. In the second section, we'll really dive into CUDA, learning all the basics for writing and debugging CUDA code. In the third section, we'll look at performance, which is the main motivation for using CUDA. We'll learn how to profile our programs to find bottlenecks and use the various types of memory and caches on the GPU to speed things up. In the fourth section, we'll look at some more complex CUDA programs and learn how to implement the building blocks of parallel algorithms. In section five, we'll take a tour of the many GPU accelerated libraries that are available with CUDA. These include a ton of useful tools that help you build programs quickly without writing a lot of code. In section six, we'll learn about some advanced topics like concurrency and programming with multiple GPUs. Finally, in section seven, we'll review the course and talk about the next steps you can take in learning CUDA. By the end of this course, you'll know the fundamentals of CUDA programming. You'll be able to design programs to run well on the GPU and solve any performance problems you run into along the way. You'll also know how to use many of the libraries which are included with CUDA. In order to get the most out of this course, you will need to be familiar with C++ since CUDA is based on it. You'll also need a Windows, Linux, or Mac OS machine with an NVIDIA GPU supporting at least Compute Capability 3.0. Any NVIDIA card made in the last five years or so should work.